So I hope you could successfully install QJS and are now ready to start QJS. So just double click on the icon and QJS will start up. The first thing that we want to do then is to create a new project. So you just click here on the in the project templates uh, frame on new empty project and we'll create a new project. So let's familiarize a little bit what you see here. Here you see a couple of panels here. That is on the one side here the browsers or the browser panel, the layers panel and the processing toolbox panel. And here is the viewport where you're going to see maps later on. So if at one point in that tutorial you accidentally hit here the cross on the toolbox or on the layers, on the browsers panel, oh no, all is gone. Don't panic. You can always recover those by just going here to the view menu. Then you will find here the panels menu entry. And here you can then re-enable the browser panel. You can also restore here the layers panel and you can restore the toolbox. So everything is back now. Then let's go through some basic settings of your project. So if you go here on project, you find here the properties. So these are the project properties here. And what is very important here is maybe just the general settings. You can define your project file, uh, a project home and a project title. So we did not do that until now. So we didn't save the project until now. It's empty. What is um, then more important here is what kind of uh, coordinate reference system you are using. We're going to work here in that tutorial with that EPSG 4326. Um, another very popular EPSG number here would be for, uh, 3857 that is often linked to web applications. If you need to switch your coordinate reference system, you want to go back here to your web browser. So you want to visit maybe epsg.io. So if you open that address here, you will find here the option to search for coordinates or to find directly a position on a map. So in this tutorial, we will have a look at a, an affluent of the Neckar River in Germany. So you can already find that place or the place that is nearby. And that is S. Lingen am Neckar. And just click on that here and you will get here the coordinates. So here you can set the coordinate system that you want to use. You can also transform coordinates here and get then the output coordinates. So here that EPSG 4326 is working with longitude and latitude coordinates. If you need them in X, Y coordinates, that is what you get here for um, EPSG 3857. But that just besides, and we are all set here for this project.